Effingham, Illinois. It's super hot and uh, to sleep in the truck and I don't have my um, my Indiana permit. Uh, this is Illinois, of course, so I could still have um, traveled one more hour east on I-70, but I like this uh, junction much better. There's much more stores in here. I went shopping, bought some new sneakers. Here they are. and talk to Verizon store about the possibility of getting a modem um, so I'm still have I still have this excavator uh, 250 so it's uh, 55,000 pounds uh, so a rel relatively light so my fuel mileage is excellent and um, they want me there I think Monday but Monday I will only get my uh, Indiana permit and also uh, the permit service company notified me that I cannot enter Michigan on I-69 like I intended to because uh, there's some kind of construction right there on uh, I-69 so we have to do a, a detour and the only viable option I said let's go through Ohio so basically I-69 in Indiana towards uh, Fort Wayne and then US-24 northeast into Ohio and then there's uh, what is it, 279 or 275 there's a US highway that goes straight north into Michigan and you can catch again 69 and thus bypassing that uh, construction and so since I don't have um, anything uh, serious to report or well, interesting except I did um, Greece right next to the truck stop there's um, one of these quick lube places and I went in and they greased my truck so it's the first grease I ever did so the speedometer now odometer now shows uh, 25,000 kilometers or roughly just over 15,000 miles and so I did the first grease and then I used my uh, Windham rewards account to uh, book a hotel and it's been a while since I've been here and I noticed this place has grown you know they have a bunch of new restaurants they have Panera Bread uh, and they have um, this Chipotle Mexican uh, Mexican place like very nice so anyway I thought I would do some uh, questions and answers right because some people are under impression that I don't read comments that was true when I said I was trying a new policy like these people are confused I said when I banned comments and then I allowed them and then I said I'm not gonna read them and then some bad stuff started happening people basically started leaving totally crazy comments and so now I went in and I do some moderation right so so there's no democracy here if I don't like your comments I'm gonna delete them okay and so now we're gonna read some questions I'm on my YouTube channel this is my laptop over here and it took me probably 20 minutes to finally uh, position the cable so that I have power because uh, it's crazy like I, I this is my second ad power adapter that I had with this pricey expensive Dell XPS and it's plugged in and the end of the cable that's hooked up to the to the laptop has a white white light showing that there is power but over here where there's a trackpad there's no light that means that the laptop is not getting any power you know and then I was playing with the cable this way and that turning this way finally the light comes on and I see the icon for the battery shows charging you know so I don't know maybe it's something with the motherboard you know not just the cable but I, I manage I always manage to get this light on the track path on the under the track pad by playing with the cable so the new one the new adapter is waiting for me at home in Cambridge when I get in there so I hope that's the problem but I really want to switch back to Mac you know there was I never had these issues with the power adapters or with the computer itself 
And anyway, some comments here are prompted by the long delay between the last episode 68 and 67. And I posted some explanation on Facebook about this, but basically that area where I was traveling, it was uh, the AT&T signal was very poor. And that's what my phone uses when I'm in US. I'm using a Canadian phone, which gives me basically free roaming inside US. I'm using my data plan, but I, I, I can only use AT&T. And you know, I was looking at the, at the strength of the signal. It was very weak. And I tried some free Wi-Fi spots, you know, like McDonald's, stuff like that. But that movie, because it's 40 minutes long, it was uh, this file size was one gigabyte. And I had to cancel. And one funny thing about YouTube is that if you cancel the upload, you cannot upload the same file again because it will be rejected. You know, you can wait like one hour till it's uploaded. Then it says it'll say duplicate file canceled. <laughs> so I learned that the hard way. So basically each time you cancel the upload, you have to rename the file. You know, just put like one or two, whatever, put some underscore in there, but you cannot upload exact the file like with exactly the same name two times. And so I had to change the name of that file like six times, you know, and finally yesterday I was at a McDonald's uh what's what was the name of that it was in arkansas so it took almost two hours two hours to upload the one gigabyte file but i did it so and that's why i i i want to get verizon you know get verizon uh, modem or hotspot or something because this at&t stuff just doesn't cut it anyway so i apologize for the technical difficulties but it's not my difficulties it's at&t difficulties because uh, I always say that, you know, if you live or if you just use your cell phone just in a big city, I know AT&T, T-Mobile are fine. But if you travel and if you need to be able to use internet or, or just make phone calls, you know, anywhere, then I, I don't know any other better company than uh, Verizon. Because I tried pretty much all companies in US and all companies in Canada and my best experience I'm not talking about customer service I'm just talking about the strength of the network you know and I think they're not paying me to say this but I'm just saying that that's the fact of life okay that's what I learned so anyway so let's see what people are saying here real estate man says uh, load number 12 in three months so if i understand you're doing four loads a month and then it's three exclamation uh, three question marks so 12 divided by three no you're wrong i'm not doing four loads a month because one was canceled so i actually did 11 loads in three months one guy says uh, jack turtle says he likes to cry more than working and actually, the correct way to say this is he likes to cry more than to work. But grammar isn't the strongest point of many people. So Jack Turtle, don't feel too bad. Must be doing something right if, <laughs> if he has a brand new truck? Question mark, exclamation point. Mr. Brandon Nybert. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for the great movie, Captain Drachev. I was concerned something had, ha had happened to you. WB. Wishing all the best. Yeah, it's AT&T, you know, it's not me. Like The movie was done. As you can see, I show the video when I'm loading, right? The excavators crawling on the deck, the cameras are rolling. And I finished the video on the night of that day except that from um, um what was it monday right monday no what monday thursday thursday uh, the movie was done i got loaded and i couldn't upload it until yesterday which was friday which actually doesn't it's not that long but yeah i didn't upload anything as i was deadheading to uh, to texas but you know there was nothing in uh, baltimore surprisingly even though the port was all 
covered in all kinds of brand new equipment and machinery, but from from what I understand, all these loads were going to other points inside US, so I couldn't touch it, you know? Like I called a few companies, no, there's nothing, nothing going to Canada from Baltimore, you know? Well, you would think, you know, that's where my trailer should be in demand, right? But it just, everything was going to, you know, to other places.